this is Pale Rider from Pale Rider TV and you are watching Trucker Rudy. Well good morning, good morning everybody. You hear that? Yeah, let's go have a look. Let's check this out. Yep, let's check this out. Look at this. I've never shown you guys this, but the wife is cooking some eggs, right? You want to say good morning? Good morning. Yeah, I'm getting ready to have some breakfast at home. Yeah, we got our coffee maker up here. Coffee is already all brewed. Mmm, that's smelling good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how do you prepare these eggs. We got them in a little mug like this. Yeah, that's nice. Anyways, we're cooking, uh, my wife is cooking some breakfast, and then we'll have some breakfast, and we'll see what we'll be up to later on. But, uh, yeah, I slept in today. <laughs> I really did, eh? Just was tired from the long trip, you know? And, uh, well, well we're going to have some good breakfast, and we'll see what we'll be up to for the rest of the day. Well, 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 guys, I just finished, uh, putting yesterday's video together <laughs> yep that's rendering right now so uh, I'm gonna go into the truck and do my uh, paperwork since I didn't do that yesterday I got to do it today and then uh, I'm gonna go to Panners and hand that in and uh, also I gotta go talk to Jim in the safety department about something a little bit too so yeah Anyways, let's go in the truck and do our paperwork. I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, since it's not cut off day for payday, I don't really have to have it in yesterday. So if it's payday, you know, and I'm com coming back on the day when it's cut off or the next day is cut off for payday, then I usually try and get it done right away. But uh, but right now it's not cut off. We usually have cut off on the 3rd and then the 18th. At 10 in the morning is usually when our cutoff is for handing in our paperwork for doing payroll so it's not that day so we got October 29th two more days and that's it for October but <clears throat> let's have a look outside let's look at that <clears throat> it's no more raining I like it, I like it. No more rain, finally. After, since Monday, no, Sunday night actually it started in Alabama, so. Even all day yesterday it was raining, even a little snow mixture there, so. Yeah, anyways, let's go on the truck and do our paperwork. Well guys, I am done with my paperwork. That's how I look. I gotta write down all my mileage and all the states and provinces that I went. And I gotta write down all the places I went to, what trailer number I had, what border crossing I had, if I was loaded or empty, or if I did a trailer switch and all that stuff. So we are done with that. Now remember, trucking is not just about driving truck. You, uh, you gotta be a secretary at the same time. Fill out all these paperworks. So the company get, uh, gets this paperwork and that way they will pay you if you don't fill this out at Penners you will not get paid that's right you will not get paid that's a fact <laughs> yeah and I usually fill out an extra one they usually give us two one is for me and one is for the company and this is the mileage I don't keep a copy of that I don't need a copy of that I have no reason to need a copy for that but this one has a trip number on it and if I ever have a problem with my paycheck or whatever I can go back to this trip number and they can look in their system and see uh, if they didn't pay me for one particular trip or something like that, you know. But anyways, we are done with our paperwork. So we're going to put it all in our envelope. This is our whole trip envelope where I got all my bills of ladings and all that stuff from all the customers where I delivered to. So uh, we got to hand that into Penners so that they can get paid too, right? Because they need to have the bill of lading that's signed from the customers so saying that they received the goods so yeah anyways at least it's not raining today and uh, I heard a trick from my uh, friend Walter the other day saying about the headlights uh, my headlights are not very bright anymore and uh, he said to me 
and he tried this himself that uh, the polishing cream that I use for uh, polishing my rims it will also work on the headlights with the same machine put that cream on there he said put that polishing machine onto it and it will brighten up the lights real nicely so what I'm gonna do is once I wrap up my paperwork here I'm gonna go back inside and get my polisher and uh, my wife actually I think she bought me a new uh, polisher they were on sale the other week because my other one broke I don't know if you remember on my video when I did my rim polishing there a couple of weeks ago uh, that one died on me so uh, we got a new one since it was on sale so I'm gonna go uh, put the new polisher cutting wheel on it I got a brand new wheel I believe still sitting in the, in the bag there somewhere so I'm gonna see if I can find that and then I'll show you the lights before and after and see if that makes a difference so uh, let's get to it well guys we are here outside at the truck and I told you I guys told you I was gonna show you these lights look at how beat up they are I don't know how good the camera is gonna show it but they're all beat up over here as well as you can probably see I'll show you the other side as well I got my polisher out already I'm gonna go ahead and grab my polisher and we'll try and polish all of these scratches out of here I don't know if you can see that there's a bunch of scratches in there and stuff so we're gonna attempt to fix that and see if we can get some nice lights again Alrighty, guys I am about ready to reveal the results of my polishing my headlights now that's how we look are you ready I'm very impressed with myself on what kind of good job I did on it you know but I'm just kind of curious what do you think what it's gonna look like is it gonna look like crap or is it gonna look good so here it is let's take a look my goodness does that not look nice and shiny wow that is that is nice hey wow what do you guys think that's how we'll look on the other side let's look at this wow that looks super super good don't you think i think so my goodness doesn't that almost look like brand new well I kind of pulled a trick on you guys I told you I was gonna polish them right and uh -uh, that's not the case <laughs> look at that <laughs> that's where the old ones are <laughs> I got you guys look at that that's where we got the old lights in <laughs> I put new headlights on <laughs> wow that looks fantastic doesn't it that is a big difference when I put these lights on got the old ones in there I'm just gonna put them away just in case you know if I ever do hit a deer or something like that then uh, I could get in a new one or my used one put on there right but anyways I, I just had to put a trick pull a trick on you guys <laughs> you know I tried polishing but yeah it didn't really go so well so I said screw it I'm just gonna go get new uh, new lights and put them on it's real easy to do it four bolts out put them back on unplug them put them back on we're good to go you know so that's it alrighty we'll see you guys in a little while well guys it's that time of the year look at that what we got out here you see that that's a snow blower I just checked the oil on it she's looking pretty good now let's see if she'll start up I haven't started it all summer let's put the choke on a little bit you can see that and this particular model has got a uh, electric cord so I can actually start it so that's uh, might be a little load but let's give it a try to pump some gas into there yeah that feels like it's empty let's give another try yeah that's not working so good well well guys sometimes I'm stupid too you know <laughs> it won't start without the key right <laughs> that's funny isn't it 
I forgot where we put it in, right here. There she goes. Oh, that's give it another try. I don't think we need to choke it now, right? Voila! Voila! <laughs> what are you up to? Huh? What are you up to? Making a pie? Making your favorite. Making my favorite. Holy moly. Did you guys hear that? That's my favorite pie, eh? My goodness. She's spoiling me when I'm home. What are we going to do about this? Well, guys, this boy over here, he just came back from school. Yeah. So tell him what we're up to. Well, we're making some meat for dinner. And yeah. so we're getting the barbecue ready. And then we're going to put a meat on it soon. Which mom told me to get when I came out here, but I totally forgot. So after you forgot? This, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So after, after this little clip here, we're going to go get the meat and then we're going to put the meat on the grill. Wow, so we're gonna have a nice dinner? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we got the fire going over there. Sounds like an airplane in the air somewhere. Yeah, yeah you had a good time in school? Oh yeah. Yeah? That's good. Oh, there he is. You can probably not see it, but he's up there somewhere. You see him up there. Yeah. Anyways, you see he's almost as tall as me now, eh? Look at that. He's getting all growing really fast, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so let's go get the meat. Yep. And then we'll put it on here pretty soon. Not quite ready yet, but very soon we'll be ready to uh, start cooking some uh, meat on here. And uh, I know Steve from Minnesota said to me this week that uh, he really gets hungry when I do this. So <laughs> I know a lot of people, they, <laughs> they like it when we cook something outside. So figure well let's show them right we got to do a shout out and this guy over here he's gonna do it he's gonna look at it well we got an email here from Jeff right yeah and he's asking for a shout out you're gonna get it right now so that's it yeah let me give a shout out to Jeff Crow I hope I'm seeing it right and uh, I'm just letting you guys know if you haven't noticed I got braces yeah I'll show them there you go yeah. Let's get a close up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, last week Tuesday. So, yeah. All right, let's get to cooking. Let's check out the meat what we got up here. Look at that. We got some what they call short ribs. We're not going to do the long ribs. I don't know what the wife was thinking with all this meat. I don't know. Are you guys all coming tonight or what? Are you? <laughs> Must be. Maybe that wouldn't be enough for a thousand subscribers, but. Uh, <laughs> It'd be good enough for few of you. Maybe a trucker jukebox could come down. You can get the taste of this stuff. Yeah. Anyways, we're having a good time, right? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Sun is still up. We got a load for tomorrow. Going to Pennsylvania. Yeah, nice long trip. So, uh, yeah. We just put the meat on. Let's have a look. We got all of our ribs on here. We got a full rack full tonight. That's going to be good, right? Yeah. I think so too. Haven't had ribs in a while. Yeah, that's going to be really good. So, already, guys, well, look at this. We got some garlic bread on here. Yeah, let's look at the meat. That's looking real good, I think. Oh, yeah, that's about done. We are just about ready to go inside and have a good bite to eat. We have had a fantastic day. It's been a pretty busy day but it's been a fantastic day and now we're done so all that's left to do finish up the video go to bed well I guess we'll take a shower first but then go to bed and have a good night's sleep and then we gotta go tomorrow morning yeah anyways I hope you enjoyed today's vlog be sure to stick around for tomorrow We'll see you then. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch tomorrow's show. Hit the like button, comment, and be sure to subscribe.